Starting in 2024, Google have begun enforcing stricter rules for bulk email senders, a move that will directly impact businesses of all sizes. Now, whether you're a solo trader, small business, or even a scaling success, these changes could be negatively impacting your marketing campaigns right now. Let's talk about why this is happening and importantly, what you can do about it. Google serve email to literally billions of people all around the world. And they need to know that their email system works. They need to know that if you're someone who's receiving emails, you've got a good chance that those emails are legitimate. Otherwise, that reflects poorly on Google and it hurts the whole ecosystem of technology and businesses. Now, Google's decided to implement stricter controls for bulk email senders, specifically to enhance the security of people receiving emails and to improve that user experience. Google wants to try and protect people from email phishing attempts and spam emails by ensuring that emails sent across Google's network are coming from verified and trustworthy sources. Now, there's a couple of technical things that you've got to get right to make sure that you have actually verified your emails correctly. And Google are effectively saying now that if you don't take these steps, they will stop delivering your emails. They'll literally just put your emails in spam because they're going to say, well, this email has been sent, but we don't know exactly where it's come from. Think about the old days when you were to send a letter to someone and you gave it a wax seal with a special insignia. So you knew that it came from that person and the wax seal would tell you that the letter hadn't been opened yet when you received it. Well, that's exactly what we're talking about here. So this is the digital version of a signed signature on an email, which means that it's come from a legitimate source. Now I'm going to jump in and get a little bit technical here, but don't worry too much if this is something you need help with or you need some guidance on actually implementing some of these tools, you can search these terms on our channel and we've got a number of guides of how to actually set up these policies correctly. But I want to start by sharing why these are important and then how you can implement them. The first we're going to cover are the big three, SPF, DKIM, and DMARC. Now, SPF is effectively your way of saying, I'm going to specify which servers are allowed to send email on my behalf. Google is someone who's allowed to send email on your behalf. Your web hosting provider, you probably want to have sent email on your behalf. And if you're using a CRM or a job management system, which also sends emails or maybe even an email marketing system dedicated for your business, you also want to make sure that they are on your SPF list. And where do we set up your SPF? Well, in your domain name settings. Inside your DNS settings of your domain registrar or your web hosting is where you configure this. And if you're not sure what you're doing, it's probably time to get an expert to help you out. Click on the link down below and our team will be happy to help you out getting this set up. The second thing we need to configure is DKIM. Now, this is like an extra level of validation. It's a cryptographic authentication, which says that this email has, yes, come from this particular source. Think of it like that, that wax seal stamp, right? Where you're stamping on a message that this has come from a legitimate source. Now, DMARC is the final, basically, enforcer rule. And think about this like the bouncer at a nightclub. It's saying, hey, if you're not on the list, you don't get to come in or your email doesn't get to go out. And what that does is it enforces the cryptographic signing of your email and the allowed senders list. And you get to choose with your DMARC policy where your emails go in the event that an email passes or fails the policies that have been configured. Now, when you get this right, you can pretty much guarantee your emails will land in people's inboxes correctly. Setting up each one of these DNS settings means that your emails will align to Google's new mandates and it'll increase the likelihood that it's going to pass through all of the spam filters right across the internet. It verifies your emails are from a trusted source, reducing the likelihood of them being flagged as spam or something else. Now, we've gone pretty technical here, but this is actually not all to make sure your emails land in people's inboxes. Google have also said that you need to have an easy way to unsubscribe from your emails to make sure that it's a good experience for your users. If you have a mechanism for unsubscribing, and it doesn't necessarily have to say the word unsubscribe, but it should still be obvious, your users can then choose to opt out of any marketing or bulk emails that you're sending. What that does is it makes sure you have a good relationship with the people you're marketing to, and it aligns to email best practices. Finally, it's important to have a look at your spam rates, particularly if you're someone who's sending a lot of bulk email right now. Now, you can typically do that with your email sending provider, whether that's something like an enterprise sender, like a Twilio or a SendGrid, 
or if for example you've got a mailchimp account or a active campaign marketing system either one of these can be used to send bulk emails and you should be able to check your reports and see what's your bounce rate what's your flag to spam rate and that will tell you how people are receiving your emails and whether or not you need to change the content or change the people that you're sending them to each time you have an email flagged to spam it sends the message to google that maybe your emails just can't be trusted and that's a bad sign because not only will you not reach people's inboxes but you might be flagged as spam right across the board with all email providers globally so what are your steps to make sure that this is working well the first step is to check your email authentication protocols make sure your dns settings are correct and you'll see some other videos on making sure that you get that done right on our channel Secondly, make sure you've got an easy facility to unsubscribe from your emails so people have the option of unsubscribing. Google are even putting an unsubscribe button at the top of marketing emails when it detects a unsubscribe link. I think that's a pretty cool feature. Makes it easy for people to get off your list. If they don't want your emails, you don't want them there anyway. Now also pay close attention to your spam rates. How many of your emails are being received? How many of them are potentially being flagged as needing improvement? and try and learn from that and improve the emails that you're sending. Now, if you're worried about your emails not hitting people's inboxes, first of all, don't fret, but also don't delay. If you'd like a quick fix from our team, click on the link down below. We have a professional support team who are experts in DNS and we help businesses all over the world make sure their emails are configured compliantly so that you can have the best chance of landing in inboxes and you can get back to managing your business and sending those beautiful marketing messages, which I'm sure you love to send. Click the link below to get started.